You have already. Yep, I have. I guess I don't even need to launch Vig at that point. Launch stream. Uh, how can I get this to like fully pop out? That's just the full screen one. Oh. Oh, why is it all of them? Oh, there we go. And if we full screen it, and then I start broadcasting that instead. There we go, yes. Okay, well, we should be back on uh, after the three minute delay. Which means that we will be good, hopefully. Hopefully, let's see. Okay, so if you could just set it to the um, the start of the timer there. Okay. And it looks like we didn't get in until fifteen yeah, we know or four minutes know. before, so that's fine. That uh, should be fine. And then okay. I'll pull up our our stream on my phone. Actually, let me switch the window capture to, <laughs> no, this one. There we go. Great. Fantastic. Okay. So can I get audio from here is the thing. Let's see. Um. Oh. No, you know what? It's fine. Let's just right. keep it as is. We can work without audio for a game. All right. All right. So, to our viewers who will be catching up with us in roughly three minutes, uh, very sorry for all the delays and everything with this. Um, our our streaming computer has been feeling under the weather. Not doing so great. <laughs> yeah. We will be fixing that uh, for before the next time, definitely. We'll try to fix it tonight, but, uh, you know, can never tell how that's going to go. So, we've sort of missed out on the early game here, uh, but everybody's still in their assigned lanes, so you can see what I'm talking about for any of our new viewers. Um, we did see Trine go for a very early dragon at around five minutes. Uh, that... Dragon is a permanent buff to the entire team in a stat chosen by, you know, what color the dragon is, basically. This um, was, yeah, this was Cloud Dragon, so I gave him uh, Ability Haste, I believe, and Movement Speed. So, Yeah, Ability Haste being cooldown reduction, faster cooldowns. Um, then, it looks like we've also had... If you could press O and pull up the scoreboard. Yeah, we've had one kill happen so far, and it was in the bottom lane by Nyla on the top laner. So it looks like Trine went for a full invade, which is when you uh, you take your whole team and you just sort of walk into the other team at level one. It's sort of a cheesy strategy, but if people don't expect it, like uh, it looks like happened here, you do get a free kill every once in a while. Which is good, this is good. Yeah, it's what you like to see if you're a Trine fan. Yep, it puts Trine on the leaderboard, gives them an early advantage, which uh, it looks like the enemy team is playing for the late game, especially with their, with their comp. So we'll see how that goes. It looks like uh, the Sejuani support is working out here as they're staying competitive in farm despite the fact that Nyla has to walk all the way up to the enemy every time she wants to hit him. Mm -hmm. Impressive feat here, especially with an off meta support. Uh, and uh, of course the directed camera keeps switching to the top lane where people are just farming and the middle lane where people are just farming because we are at this point so early on in the game that uh, there's not a lot of impactful fights happening yet. Not, nothing cool yet. No. I will note that uh, Neela's passive gives it so that she gets extra experience off of her um, her farming so she doesn't have to farm nearly as much to get the same you know, effect. So the the fact that it looks like Actually, it looks like Neela's caught up to Kai'Sa. They weren't doing so hot earlier, but it's, they Neela can get a little bit less farm and still be at the same 
spot relatively to a Kaisa. Right you are. Definitely a positive experience for trying right now. Um, no pun intended. In the... Oh. Well, we sort of got into runes. Um, although the specifics of those don't really matter so much. Uh, compared to what we're seeing right now, which is a lane swap, Trine has decided to put their bottom laners in the top lane at 8 minutes. Uh, Generally, lane swaps don't happen on until later into the game, uh, but it looks like they've done, gone and done it right at the beginning. It's just their choice. And they go on to the Rift Herald now, which is another objective that they can take. Although it looks like ONU does have vision of it, so they got to be careful of that. And it does look like ONU is also rotating, so we'll see. It looks like Trine is just trying to force as many objectives as possible as quickly as possible. Uh, not what you usually see out of a poke comp. But I was assured that this was a poke comp. And we get the Kane jumping in, stealing the Rift Herald with the smite. And that is the first kill of the game for ONU. Another kill for Trine and a second kill for ONU. That puts them right on even at the scoreboard, although Trine has one dragon, they have one Rift Herald. Although it looks like, uh, unfortunately, Ari got caught out there and killed. So, yeah, so. Too soon. Not what you want to see as a Trine fan. That is a 3 for 1, and they lost the objective, but Orn doing good work in the bottom lane, taking a tower plating by himself. That is plus 180 gold. Yeah. Uh, congratulations to him. <laughs> uh, okay. So wh what I was going to talk about before I noticed that happening was uh, summoner spells, which are the icons on the side of the screen here next to each character's uh, portrait. Uh... Everybody has Flash and something else. Flash lets you teleport a short distance. It's just the best one for every situation. Offense, defense, need to catch up, need to run away. Uh, everybody loves it. Uh, the purple icon next to Orn and Ari on Trine's side and Mordekaiser and Corky, which is the top and mid laners of both teams respectively, um, lets you teleport across the map on a little bit of a shorter cooldown, but it gives the enemy team a warning that you're coming in a giant purple laser beam that sits for like four seconds where you're going to end up. Mm -hmm. uh, you might have noticed it earlier. Corky teleported into that Baron fight. Or not Baron. Uh, Rift Herald fight. Right, he did. Uh, that just sort of gives a increased ability to rotate around the map and take objectives. So it top and mid laners like, uh, going for it. Yeah, it looks like ONU has dropped the Rift Herald in the bottom lane. Uh, Rift Herald is able to ram into the tower and do a lot of damage to the tower, letting them take that tower uh, for a first turret in the bottom lane for ONU. And it looks like ONU is also moving directly onto Dragon for, with that push, so there's probably not much Trine can do about it, unfortunately. I don't think they even have vision of it. They might not even know what's happening until it's too late. But that does mean we have seen the first tower before 11 minutes, and the second Dragon of the game going to ONU also before 11 minutes. Uh, Corky just sort of spent his package there as I'm sure it was about to time out, and there was no fight happening really. Uh, there's now we know what ocean or what soul it's going to be. It's going to be ocean soul. Um, so the soul, if any one team gets four dragons in a row, well not in a row, but any four dragons, they get an uh, extra buff on top of the already the buffs that they get initially. It looks like Sejuani is going in for a gank here, but uh, not much can happen. Oh, oh we're seeing oh, the flash charm from the Ari. Her ult's up. Oh, okay, that is okay. a kill for trying. Fantastic work. Well played, yeah. Coming back into it a little bit, although they are still roughly 700 gold down, according to the graph at the top. Uh, other so summons. With the Hex, the hex Flash coming from uh, Sejuani, you saw that. That's a rune that she can take, and it lets her use a Flash on a lot shorter cooldown, but she has to charge it up. Uh, yeah, so same as Teleport, it has a little bit of a warning that it's coming uh, if they can see you, but it doesn't actually tell them where you're going to end up, unlike regular Teleport, so... Definitely a uh, good choice if you're trying to surprise people over walls, like, like what happened did, there. Yes. It looks like Wukong is pushing the mid lane a little bit there. Uh, Sejuani is just roaming. That's what the support does. It looks like since they've taken the first turret, it's gotten into the mid game. Um, there's kind of phases of the game, depending on what objectives have been taken. And what it, Generally speaking, when they take the first turret, it goes into the mid game from the early game. So... Now the support's going to be looking to roam a lot and help other lanes. Same with the jungler, although jungler doesn't have as much of an effect. You'll see Kane is still farming his jungle, I believe. Yeah, he is. 
It does. You don't look... know what form Kane is going to take just yet. So yeah. We'll see about that. It does look like O and U are still playing around uh, Orn in the bottom lane. Uh, they keep committing people to having him not take their towers uncontested. Oh, oh we're seeing an engage here from the Leona onto the Ari, getting another kill for O and U. Yeah, unfortunately, Leona has a serious amount of stun there. Like, almost three to four seconds just straight where the enemy team cannot move. <laughs> Especially since she dropped ult. Although, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, oh. oh, we're having Wukong just sort of walk into the enemy here. He manages to get out all right, but that was scary for a moment. Yeah, Especially considering they are jumped. still a, uh, a kill down. I believe they're very much down on vision. Or... No, they just have a lot of vision of O and U's side, not their own. Mm -hmm. A little bit of an interesting choice, especially since O and U are playing around Trine's jungle so effectively and uh, ambushing their own team within it. Okay, well, uh, I don't believe anyone is pinged when the next Rift Herald is coming, but uh, we can see from the hourglass icon on that top divot on the river that it is coming soon-ish. Uh, that that usually means like a minute to seconds. 45 seconds. And then it turns yep. yellow with 30 seconds left and, uh, you know, then the thing just respawns. Um, it looks like... No, they're not going to be able to do anything. They could have... They might have been able to push in a little bit and taken that turret to die of the Mordekaiser, but yeah. they didn't want to do it. didn't want to risk it. And in the bottom lane, we had Orn just take a tower on his own. Oh, oh. here comes Wukong ult as well as Ari going there. Although We're seeing Trine just jump out on the Kane, they managed to catch him out a little bit, but he has flashed to get out, except Nyla is now ulting ONU's entire bottom lane. That's going to turn into at least one kill for Trine. Uh, but now we're having all of Trine's team flash out. They're about to get killed. We're seeing, uh, yeah, I believe that was a Mordekaiser ult and the Ari able to com yep. effectively cut her off from safety, turning that into a one-for-one. -one. Not the worst for Trine when they're already behind, but... Uh, you know, especially with Rift Herald coming up exactly right now, they are uh, not in a position that they can fight over it, even though they might want to be. Oh, look at that. <laughs> and then we just get a random Ornold um, yep. for fun. Although it does not look like uh, ONU is going on, is not doing the Rift Herald. They might be looking at Drake still, though. Drake is coming up to 30 seconds. Yeah. It'll be interesting to see what the different teams prioritize when uh, both objectives are up at the same time, because I do think Trine, as the poke comp, would prefer ONU not get Ocean Drake, except... Oh no, actually, they're just going to take Rift Hell right now. ONU do not have vision of it. Uh, they, if they manage to do it in time for Drake, this could be a, a big swing in their favor. We'll see. It looks like they're able to efficiently uh, get rid of the... Rift Herald as fast as possible. Yeah. Although it looks like they're just heading straight top instead of going to Drake. Yeah, they're just going to drop it in the top lane. Well, it works. Uh, but they are giving up a Drake for that. Oh, and you are going to take their second of the game. That will mean two more after this, and they will end up with Ocean Soul. Although um, it does look like the way they have four people here and a Rift Herald, they might be able to crack open their base a little bit, maybe even get to Inhib. We'll see. Yes, that Since would... all of Owen Oh, no. Owen U has effectively rotated top here, so... Yeah, it is literally just Kane doing uh, Dragon on his own. Are Tower of Plates really 160? Did they nerf that? Yeah, I thought it was 180. Yeah. All right, well, Twitch chat right again. <laughs> uh, the Rift Herald punched into the tower there, did a huge oh. chunk of its health, but they weren't managed. Trine was not able to fully take it. Uh, okay. And now we're having Orn get a little bit caught out here, except he is Hello. still Orn. I do not think they will be able to kill him. Yep. Oh, unless they where is he going, though? Drastically overcommit to this. Yeah, that is a Kaisa oh. ult and two people oh, yeah, yeah, way yeah, yeah. out of position. That is going to turn into at least one free kill for Trine. Well, not free because they did trade, but uh, no, that is that is two kills for Trine for yeah. uh, little to no investment as uh, yeah, ONU got like a little overexcited. Yeah, there, yeah. It seems Shrine's up on ONU about 200 gold now, so it was, yeah, a misplay by ONU. Playing them about equal now. Yeah, fantastic stuff from Shrine. Mm -hmm. uh, now we're having Leona try to catch out the Wukong a little bit. I don't think they're actually looking to fight here. They're just looking to stop people from hitting their tower. Mm -hmm. Although, 
they weren't very uh, good at it, as they still managed to get roughly half the health of the tower. I believe it was mostly full before that uh, fight there. We'll see. It looks like they're gonna they're gonna push out the mid lane and get it anyway, so it doesn't even matter. <laughs> yeah. Oh, or not. Just kidding. So I don't know if this got cut off when I was uh, rudely interrupted by the computer crashing, but we do have a three-minute delay from us to the game, and then we have another three-minute delay from us to uh, any viewers out there. So if it seems like we're not responding to questions or comments in a timely manner, it's because we literally do not see them for three minutes after we uh, say the thing. Now we're having Kane run after Orn again. Uh, this didn't work out well for them last time. Uh, I hope it ends up working better for him. Or actually, you know what? No. I'm rooting for Trine here. I'm allowed to say that. Uh, yeah. And it looks like, again, does not turn into a kill unless they way over commit. And this time they decided, oh, well, maybe we don't try it again. I did notice as Kane was chasing him, Kane decided to go red Kane here. Oh, well, something's about to happen. Yep. Okay, so Nyla getting caught out a little bit by the Leona and running into the Kane W there, getting knocked up. It's not enough to actively catch her out because she has just a little bit too much mobility, but maybe it will make Nyla play a little bit less aggressive in the future. Or honestly, who are we kidding? They're going to keep playing exactly that aggressive, and it will sometimes work and sometimes it won't. Nyla can get out, though. She is slippery. We'll see. Yes. As I was saying, it looks like Kane went red Kane, meaning that Kane's going to be a little bit more of a bruiser, kind of a tankier. You can, uh, Kane has the option to go either red or blue. He can be uh, uh, red, which is tanky, and blue, which is uh, assassin. So. I didn't see anything. Nope. Sorry. A little bit of minor interruption there. Okay. Uh, now we're having Trine pushing down the middle lane a little bit, trying to get engaged upon by ONU, except they're actually going to counter engage. Big um, meal. Oh, and then are all three of them going to die? Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, so, not what you want to see as a Trine fan. Um, but that is three for nothing. Uh, I think they just traded ultimates there, too. Unfortunately, yeah. That Especially was not a very good play for trying to... Oh, oh, never mind. Leona gets caught out here, although I don't know if she's going to die or not. We'll see. Yeah, she's not. Ari might, though. Oh, uh, yep. Yeah. Ari, just kidding. Ari gets caught out. <laughs> oh. Nope, 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 nope. And we get the flash, and we get another flash. Oh, all uh, kinds okay. of flashes everybody. That is now four for zero for ONU, and uh, are they going for an ace? It looks like they are. Unfortunately, yeah, it does look like they're able to get the ace right there. Uh, just, oh. Oh. Let's get rid of that Sejuani ult, or get away from it. See the flash over the wall. So that is five kills in quick succession for ONU with uh, nothing in return for trying. Well, all while they uh, managed to take a tower. And it looks like prepare for Baron by clearing that Scuttle Crab and obtaining unremovable vision of the objective. Although uh, Dragon is up soon. We'll have to see yeah. how Trine handles it now that the... Oh, and you already has two dragons done. Ryan is able to get a tower in the middle, and they got rid of somebody's teleport here. It looks like Mordekaiser tried to teleport and un was unsuccessful. Right, well. While that's not bad, uh, maybe not as good as five kills. Oh, that was true. <laughs> <laughs> After the early game went so well, it looks like they're kind of making a small series of mistakes here that are uh, negatively impacting their game. As we can see on the uh, score tab here, ONU has big gold bounties, which means they are worth more if they die as a sort of catch-up mechanic because they are so far ahead. Uh, it looks like ONU is going to be able to get this Drake here unless uh, Trine wants to contest it, although they can't really do that. Yeah, they are getting so. their third dragon of the game. When they get four, considering it's a poke comp, uh, it's a bad sign. The uh, Ocean Dragon Soul for four dragons is heavy, heavy healing every time you hit anyone with anything for the rest of the game. Um, Which is not good for trying. Not good. Yeah, it's not what they're looking for. Uh, and it looks like Kaisa has actually never died this game yet. So... Uh, Big money sitting on Kaisa, yes. 
That is a big bounty, but that also means that she's been playing very well up to this point. You can see in the bottom lane there, it looks like um, Kaisa is, has uh, two items. Oh, I guess they have both equal items. I was going to say Kaisa is leading in the items, but she hasn't backed yet, I guess. She hasn't sold her Doran's blade yet. Either. Yeah. That is, that is two completed items on both of them with completed boots. Mm -hmm. But then just in... Uh, resources and parts she's a little bit ahead of Nyla is Leandri's torment the choice for RA or is that just a different pick I think you might be recognizing the uh, sheer amount of tank stats on the other team from Mordekaiser Kane and Leona or Red Kane specifically and Leona and uh, trying to counter pick that a little bit although I'm not I don't think the uh, Leandries was the right choice here. It might not work as well as Trinar wanting it to. Uh, they're engaging on Leona here. Appears to be caught out. Will they actually manage to get a kill? Yes! That's good. That's at least something. Though Trine is still down about 3k, 3K so... Right now, that's their whole game plan, is catch people out and uh, get one-on-one -on -one kills, because we've already seen their team fight does not really work as well as I'm sure they want it to. And it looks like Trine is walking through vision here, so ONU does know that Trine is here. And it looks like there might be a big team fight building up here, unfortunately, for Trine. I don't think there is vision on the Orn. That might be a surprise factor. Oh, the Orn ult coming Orn. down. And. Uh, oh, really manages to hit much. the Sejuani, but. Uh, or manages to hit the Kaiser, but the Sejuani can't follow up properly. And now Orn is a little bit caught out, manage has to flash out. It looks like Kane hit two with his W there. Not good. And it does look like ONU will be taking this team fight. Oh, yeah. no, we have the Nyla kind of pulling it back a little bit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at this. Does oh, get there she goes. smacked down, and the uh, Mordekaiser claims three kills in a row. And then Ari, one final disgrace, oh. caught out. Unfortunate. That it looks is. like ONU gets an ace on try again. With Baron up and with their Kaisa as fed as she is, uh, she's going to be able to take it. Or ONU is going to be able to take it, probably push into the base immediately as they have. Well, no, the respawn timers end up soon. But uh, ONU in a commanding lead at this point at 7,500 gold ahead, roughly. And Drag is not going to be up anytime soon. So. Yeah. They cannot do that just yet. Uh, if that dragon comes up while the Baron buff is still going on, this might just be a lost game for Trine. Uh, as, you know, with the soul, they're kind of unbeatable, and as long as they have Baron buff, Trine might not be able to contest the dragon at all. Um, although, yeah. of course, anything can happen. Uh, they do have big bounties on the objectives now. Uh, for being a little bit behind, they get a bonus 600 gold split across the team for Dragon or Baron, and a bonus 300 gold per tower and 480 th for Inhibitor, I think is what that means. Yes, I believe that is correct. It looks like ONU is looking to set up Dragon here, clear vision, get, rid of, get ready for the upcoming objective. And the worst of all possible worlds is coming true. Baron buff will be up when they have to fight for Dragon. We'll have to see if Trine just gives up on it completely in an attempt to set up a play later in the game that, uh, you know, the right time may never come, or they try to contest it even though they really can't. Uh, kind of need a miracle at this point. Yeah, it looks like the is going to stay top throughout this, so he'll push it in, and then the Orn is going to be forced to stay top with him to make sure he can't go too far. The Mordekaiser and Orn teleports are up, but uh, as long as they're playing close to each other, the first one to teleport will lose. As the other one will simply just stun them, walk away, and then use their own teleport to actually make it to the fight. Right. It looks like Owen is chasing uh, Trine back a little bit here. Yeah, Trine trying to set up any vision at all around the dragon, just being consistently denied. We see the Kai'Sa so W is, Yes, Trine is also denying ONU vision as well. No, not as much, though. Yeah. They have vision of the river in the pit. They 
they've just been denied vision in Trine's own juggle. Oh, Although we're seeing an Bonio. immediate engage. Oh. Oh, big stuff, big stuff. I think the uh, surprise factor there is going to get them at least two kills. And, uh, ooh, a, a third one. It is a two for three right now with Dragon up. They'll take those. And, uh, oh, uh, Ari caught out. Orin caught out. And like Wukong may good. die here. You can't really want, yeah. run away from Kane in a late game situation. Mm -hmm. Especially not Rost. Though, mm, yeah. Yeah, that is going to be another ace for ONU with the dragon up. We've already seen Kane solo one dragon this game. We will probably see it again. Or maybe with Mordekaiser's help, it might go a little quicker. But either way, Trine will not be able to respond in time. This will be a dragon soul for ONU, a permanent massive buff should be noted though they did kill kaisa gaining her 700 gold shutdown so that is pretty good although i didn't see exactly who got it i believe it was the nyla actually which is exactly where you want that gold that's true nyla is able to scale a little bit although i don't know we'll see since they're so far behind i'm not sure if she'll be able to scale enough trying might be looking for another one of those uh surprising Engagements out of nowhere. Um, because that's the first fight they've really done well in this whole game. The first big team fight. Uh, maybe they just need to stand somewhere where there is no vision. And uh, just sort of charge. We'll see. I say we'll see a lot. I should probably stop. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, for broadcasting, I always end up using the same three or four phrases. Just because, you know... If it's a good it phrase, it's hard to, like, convince yourself not to use it. I know, right? Well, it looks like uh, ONU is looking to push in the bottom wave here and get a bottom turret again. Oops. They might be able to get in-hib off this. They have three people, bot four people bought here. Yes. Corky does not have a package, so that will not be a... Uh... A concern. Oh, yeah, that won't be a concern. That won't be a free team fight for ONU. Although at this point, with Wukong and Orn separated from their team, neither of them have teleport. Uh, they tried to force something here. I'm not sure how well Trine would do. And There's they're Leona going Ult, to do Leona exactly Ult. that. Yep, Leona Ult looks like Ari is getting out of it, though. Oh, nope, we're yep. Kane is in her. So. Ari Nyla, completely caught out. Ult, Nyla turning that into a uh, one for one, and uh, actually it does a one for three, unfortunately. Yep, and they look like they're going to be able to get inhibitor here. Triple kill. They might try to end the game, actually. If they can catch the Orn out properly, they might just be able to push the final turrets with uh, only Although, Wukong to contest them, and Wukong is not exactly doing the best this game. Can't, yep. Although, here comes the Orn Horn. They might be able to do something here. Get him. Oh, never mind. He missed the thing. That's all right, though. And he misses the connection. He doesn't get the stun. Uh, looks like no one's going to die here, but will we see another tower go down? They're getting scarily close. No, it looks, looks like, like they're going to back off for now. And Baron's coming up in 15 seconds. They're probably going to take that and end with that, but we'll see. Or even just look to fight around it. If they just hide near it, uh, Trine will eventually have to go check Baron, try to contest it. Because, um, of course, if they just get it uncontested, Trine just kind of loses. Um, but that can also mean that they just sort of walk into a fight they aren't prepared for. Mm -hmm. It does look like ONU is on their way to try on the way to Baron right now. Although, Trine has one person on the bottom side of the map. Uh, looking at that inhib, having to make sure that that can't push in. So it's going to be a 4v5 for the Baron. Although, Ari does have TP up. I did not notice that. Yeah. That's solid, but uh, these the fights we've been seeing have been over before a teleport would even go off. Yeah, it looks like they're starting a fight right here. Trying Kane is to trying yep. to... There's Leona engage onto them. Yep. Ari is just walking up. Oh, and you playing forward. Not managing to catch anyone out just yet. And, uh... Orky does have a package, so... Yeah, Trine can't really fight right now, but at the same time, they need to. Really unfortunate situation for Trine. Looks like ONU is going to go right onto the Baron here. And we should have sound back for the other games. Uh, that should be a temporary 
issue. But, uh, yes. Oh, and you gets Baron, although here comes the RATP and the quirky package. Yeah. So a big team fight here. That was actually the Orn TP. He did get completely caught out with it, though. And, uh, Wukong dead as well. Nyla dead as well. Sejuani dead as well. That is four for one. Chasing down the Ari, the last minutes of the game. Uh, either way, they can just go end here. Yeah. Unfortunately, it looks like this is the demise of Trion right here. Yeah, so we'll have to see going into game two how Trion's strategy changes. And it looks like they're just going to hunt down the Ari anyway before they end. And there goes the Nexus, meaning ONU wins for yeah. this game at least. That is 1 0 ONU for the time being. Yes. All right, let me get our uh, client back properly. Let me just sign in here. I am going to grab my water bottle here real quick. Yes, I will be taking a water break here soon as well. So, very sorry about the issues we had getting that game launched and ready. Uh, this computer has been having issues recently. And uh, we've kind of figured it'll work around. But. Yeah, we'll see if it works this time. Yeah. So, do you have in-game sound on? I do, yes. Okay. Were you getting it on your headphones? Yeah. Okay, so I wonder why we weren't getting it over here. It's funky. Alright. Well, either way, we will have very soon another uh, draft and then very soon after that that same draft again followed by a three minute delay so we can troubleshoot then well, for now we can talk about what happened in that last game I'm going to switch my headphones out real quick because they are plugged so I will be one second here alright so that last game they got the early kill from the uh it full invade. Um, it put them. Uh, it put Trine in a good place to start with, but they couldn't really convert that into wins in uh, fights in lane or later on in the game. Uh, although it did sort of lead to them getting a free dragon. I think this time they might instead look for uh, a safer, more consistent laning phase rather than going for a surprise kill early on. Uh, or, maybe, since that was the part of the strategy that worked, they go for it again. And much more aggressively. So that they can get uh, two or three free kills instead of just one. Although, oh, and you will be ready for it now if they do decide to go that route. So we will... Alright, I should be back here. Yeah. Coolio, coolio. If we look at ranks here, uh, Diamond is higher than Platinum, which is higher than Gold. As we can see, ONU has two Diamond players, two Platinum players, and a Gold player. Trine has three Gold players, a Platinum player, and a Diamond player. Um, so those sort of outside strategies are how they're going to uh, try to get a win. Because um, especially in like longer games that are based on the consistency of the players, uh, they might run into trouble going against O and U, which are statistically listed as a better team. Although, of course, again, that's not everything. This is usually either solo Q rank or flex Q rank, and that's really more uh, individual skill rather than working together as a team. Even if you have all the individual skill in the world, if you can't communicate properly with your team, you will not win in a tournament setting. I am going to run and get water now, and uh, right. if the draft pops up, you can just click.
click it and it should jump to it. All right, cool. Sorry for the confusion, we will actually not be watching the uh, draft tool draft, as uh, that draft is on the same website as before, which we no longer have access to since our computer crashed. So, uh, we will be waiting roughly another four-ish minutes, and then we will, uh, we will see that draft happen twice as fast. Uh, when they actually do it in the client. Although hopefully we'll be able to still give a little bit of feedback on the draft, <laughs> even though it's going by so fast. We'll see. We will have time with the spectator delay. Oh, Absolutely. that's true. That's true. Uh, just from looking over at Trine's computers, I can see that uh, both teams are taking their sweet time making each pick. Um, so it might be a little longer than four minutes. <laughs> If you need, yeah, we shall see. Yeah, if you need time to get a snack, water like we just did, or any other kind of drink, or uh, you know, walk the dog or something, that would be uh, a now sort of activity. If you want to keep watching, it can be an anytime sort of activity. If you just turn off the stream right now, yeah, you need to walk your dog. <laughs> yes, make sure to do that at least every once in a while. Okay. So what I like to do, when we have a little bit of downtime like this, is we can pull up op.gg, which is a stats website, and sort of get the uh, the low lowdown on each of the players. I do like to. Um, I usually use this to check up on uh, the team Trine is playing against. So I can already tell you most things you might want to know about Trine. Um, so let's just start with the top laner. Okay. Motors34 is a Platinum 3 player who has been consistently Platinum since Season 9. Ooh. Uh, seems like a strong player. Likes to play Orn Shen, which we saw banned earlier. That's a little bit of an explanation for that. Uh, Sejuani, Cho'Gath, really just a lot of tanks. And of course the Mordekaiser, as we saw, is for uh, counterpicking. The Orn. The Orn, or apparently Trindamir's. Interesting. Hmm. According to their uh, match history. Next up, we have... Aggression, uh, but spelled with a fancy I, and I don't know how to type that on this keyboard. So we'll just try to find it without typing that. Aggression is apparently a very popular name. <laughs> that is interesting. How about this? Motors? No. Sometimes we can get to the other teammates through one person's profile. 
by looking at their uh, people they've recently played with. Although it doesn't look like that's happening here. As uh, Motors 34 usually plays, solo queue. Ooh. Don't like those words. Okay, so we're going to skip aggression actually because I did find a game where he was playing with the rest of the team except they had a different jungler. Toxico and you. Uh, gold 2 according to this website. Uh, first ranked last year at Silver 3, so definitely improved. Over a Where is year. he at now? Is he gold three? Still? Yeah, silver silver three to gold two in a, a year. That that is that is impressive. That's a pretty decent jump right there. Uh, he likes to play the Corky Vex, the Victor that we saw banned, Seraphine, uh, Lux, and then apparently gets autofilled to support a lot and plays Pike. <laughs> oh, and you creature. Platinum 2 uh, seems to hang around high gold, low platinum almost all the time. This is a little bit of a high point. Uh, prefers to play the Kai'Sa, the Zeri that we saw banned. It's another explanation. And Caitlyn a lot. Uh, only plays Samira every once in a while and is not 100% on her. And Tango Charlie 4 is Diamond 2. Uh, usually stays around high platinum, so this is a big, big jump. Um, likes to play Renata Glask. I wonder if we'll see that this game. The weak fear the shadows. It does look like they're in champs right now, so you might be able to go over that. Yes, okay. Well, hope you enjoy. Can you stream for me so I can see? Yes. Screen. 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 There we go. Okay. We must all make our choices. Go sports team indeed. Yes, I'm absolutely here for it. Uh, we're seeing the cane band by the team that picked it last game. That's a little weird. If I want your opinion, I'll beat it out of you. Don't know what happened there. Interesting. I guess they just don't want to first pick it and also don't want to play against it. If, uh, if I had to guess what was happening there. We do see the Shen get through. We just talked about that's one of Motor's comfort picks. Yeah, man, it looks like Mordecai's are in response to that. Interesting. They're kind of trading places here. Passive early game tank versus Mordecai's are... Everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All it does right. look like we have the Poppy in the jungle here. Uh, I guess Wukong. I believe Poppy wins in this matchup. Poppy counters Wukong because of Poppy's anti-dash. Wukong so. was a trine pick last time, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So now it looks like they have reserved, reversed the roles again. Kind of trading characters. And now we are seeing both teams pick support and ADC at the same time. Or at least attempt to. It's like they banned out Renata Glask. So. Tango Charlie 4, not a glass player and noted diamond player in this game. And the last so, band, Zerath. Zerath, yes. Caitlyn bot for a trine. Okay, as we get our last two picks set up here, we can just start talking about matchups immediately. Um, I Shen do and Mordekaiser. Believe, yeah. Shen and Mordekaiser go to the same I way don't... as Orn and Mordekaiser, right? Yeah, I believe so. So, though Shen does have more map control than Orn does, so he'll have he'll be at all the team fights. You know that. You know. Uh, Poppy, I think, can uh, help out other lanes a little earlier than Wukong can. If and I'm Poppy mistaken. beats Wukong, I believe, at least later. She can lock him down, so. Oh. I don't know about the mid lane there. Victor versus Annie. Not sure. I think that one comes down entirely to the Victor's skill level compared to Annie. Because, uh. So it's know. a skill matchup. We'll see. 
I believe it is. Uh, are you able to spectate this? Because if this crashes again. I will once it's out of champ select, I believe. Okay. Yeah, well, once it's out of champ select. Not right now. Well, everybody cross your fingers because at the end oh, of our course. three and a half minute timer, this will either crash or it won't. <laughs> and we're really hoping for won't. Uh, okay. It does look like uh, Misfortune Seraphine, that bot lane. That's pretty heavy into the poke there. Caitlyn, Caitlyn does have some pretty good range, though Alistar is not going to be able to go nearly as far. Though, I do know Griffin's pretty good on his Alistar, so we'll see how that goes. Yeah, Trine might get punished a little bit here. We have a lot of shorter range characters against Misfortune and Seraphine. Yeah, can really by the way. put the hurt on them. I can spectate it. I am spectating it right now. Great. As speak. Okay, so we have a backup for if it does crash. Uh, I would encourage you all to just wait roughly three minutes, and we will come back. Um, it should be more like five, actually, because it takes two minutes to relaunch this computer, and then uh, three minutes to start streaming again. So that would be another time. Walk your dog. Drink your water. <laughs> eat your popcorn. Ah. Uh, I don't know. Pray <laughs> if you're a Trine fan. Yeah. And if you're not a Trine fan, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> this will be the deciding factor. If ONU does win this game, it does mean that they've won against Trine here. And putting Trine 0 for 2. They lost against Manchester, didn't they? I'm not sure. I believe they did. Yes. It, yes, uh, did. it went to game 3. We did not broadcast game 2. Mm, okay. So yeah. Unfortunately, Trine has lost. Had did lose against Manchester, but it's okay. Hopefully, they're able to come back here, though. They needed to win the next two in a row, but I think it's doable. The anticipation is killing me. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to assume we've done a little bit enough. Or we've done mostly enough to uh, help explain the basics of the game. Can you think of any other like more specific things we might want to identify that are happening? Um, I guess we could talk about CC. Um, some abilities have the some uh, abilities that the champions can use have the property where they can make it so that you can't like move. That's called CC, crowd control. Um, during like there's you can use certain items and certain summoner spells that cleanse in order to get rid of it um some champions that have cc specifically here are poppy on her ultimate uh alistar has on his q and his w and his e uh seraphine wukong i believe shen has it on his e as well yeah he has a yeah. taunt so i don't know about anything else Great. Now we can spend the next 20 seconds thinking of one-liners to say right before it starts loading so that if it crashes, we have a really cool sign-off. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know any one-liners. Yeah, me either. <laughs> Three seconds. Three, two, one. I'll either see you in five minutes or uh, right now. Oh, it's working. It looks like it's working to me, at least. What just played that noise? What? Oh, it's working. Good to know, good to know. Uh... Excuse me? There we go. <laughs> and are we... We are broadcasting it? Incredible! It's working! The League Gods have blessed us today. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, that is just fantastic. It looks right off the bat. Um, it does not look like anybody's going for an invade here. If they were invading, they'd all be grouped up. They're just sitting at the entrances to the jungle to watch for invades. All sitting, you can kind of see they're mirrored on each opposite side of the map. 
This is what's known at... as five point. It's just mm -hmm. to stop you from getting invaded, or if you do get invaded, at least only one person dies. Right. Although, I don't think either of them has a really great invade, so... I didn't think that last game either, but they went for it. They went for it. And then it, look, it sounded like it worked. Yeah. Minions have spawned. Oh, there goes the Mordekaiser. <laughs> Mordekaiser jamming out in the top lane. As a Mordekaiser main, I can't agree. <laughs> the single most expensive bot lane you can ever see. Yep, those are two premium skins there. Each of those are 30 bucks, right? Something like that? Something like that. It's a waste of money in my opinion, but... <laughs> oh, but they're so pretty, though. They are. Although the Misfortune one's not hasn't aged very well, so... Yeah, it really hasn't. Neither is the Ezreal one. They could, they could use a, a revamp. They've we'll revamped the Ezreal one like four times. It, it never sticks. It never sticks. Yeah. This is a very dated looking character. We're seeing Oh, and you pop out of the bush, get some free damage on a trine. Yep, that's what Owen is looking for in the spot lane here. Uh, other than that, nothing remarkable has happened yet. <laughs> Both teams in every lane just kind of farming right now. Uh, you can't really effectively fight level 1 with any of these champions. Or, realistically, in a competitive setting at all. Um, Notably, the Annie in the mid lane has Predator, so she's going to be looking for some roams here. Uh, probably in the early game. We'll see. Although Caitlyn, for trying, being completely zoned off the farm. Oh. As they uh, they rush an early level 2. And getting a lot of lane pressure from it. In the top lane, we are seeing Shen and Mordekaiser fight. Shen doing a lot of damage. Mordekaiser dishing it right back. Looks like they're about, about even in that trade. I believe we're seeing poke misfortune here. It looks like uh, Seraphine's hanging out in that bush so that, and they don't have any vision of her unfortunately, so she's able to just pop out whenever and surprise them a little bit. Yeah. And I can see Although... the stream just caught up to the game starting, so I'm expecting uh, cheers in chat as we. Uh, we actually broadcast this game properly with full sound. Uh, in the like top lane, we're having the first yeah. gank of the game. And oh, and flash of my poppy to get a kill on the yeah. Mordekaiser. Beautiful. An immediate knockout. I'm trying. I gotta turn this down. I just realized this is uh this is coming through the same channel as you are. There we go. Does look like Wukong was looking for a gank there. He's sitting in the mid river. Uh, hovering. Looks like you might get something off here. Yep. Oh, but Victor flashes. Yeah. Uh, maybe Victor able to get a little bit of damage off onto the Wukong as he leaves, but not nothing able to happen, really. Yeah. He just walked up a little bit too far and ended up having to spend Flash for it, but, you know, that's the great thing about Flash. Once every five minutes, your mistake just doesn't matter at all. Yep. Unless someone else flashes like onto you. Support is here to help out Victor. And, nope, it looks like Annie is going to go. Nope, maybe not. Depends. Yeah, Annie going oh, down Annie goes here. Down. Wow, look at that. It's a good start for Shrine. It's really good. 2-0. And uh, generally ahead in farm. Yeah, by a thousand gold. What do you mean it's really blurry? <laughs> I think uh, that's... Could be a viewer side thing. I think that's... Yeah. You know what? That's what we're, that's what we're going with. Yep, and it looks like Wukong got cut out while we were paying attention to that. Oh, yes. And Wukong, oh, he manages to trade one for one. Yeah. But Annie did teleport, so. Yeah. It, really like, it does look like uh, Victor's going to be able to teleport right back, so he shouldn't lose too much. Yeah. Solid trade for Dryan. Although he is not going to teleport since she's not to just walk back to wave. Well, looking at where the wave is. I don't, I'm not sure if teleport is necessary. That's true. Poppy getting caught out a little bit in the bottom lane doesn't die for it, but very nearly does. She'll probably back or go right back into her jungle. I know Gromp still gives quite a bit of free healing if you manage to take it. Yep. Wukong's on his top side, Poppy's on the bottom, so... On the opposite sides of the map here. 
Alistair looking to play up a little bit and catch out the Seraphine, going exactly as planned. She has to flash out. Because of the misfortune Seraphine bot lane, they're able to poke it a little bit as they leave. Yeah. Although try and poking right back, Seraphine is fairly low now. Annie hit level 6 before Victor did. That is the important breakpoint because it gives you access to your ultimate ability, which means that Victor now has to hide uh, every time she walks up until he manages to get his ult. Annie has one hell of a wave going there too, so... Yeah. Although, yes, he does have his ultimate up now. Uh, we're back to uh, normal. Plus that laser already doing just a ton of damage. Yeah, it's first strike. And uh, let's see, does he have any... Yeah, he has lost chapter, so... Very solid gameplay so far. Yeah. Annie does... The, noticeably, Annie does not have any items item components while Victor does, so Victor is going to be in the higher damage side than Annie will be, so. The Dark Seal does imply ONU was expecting to get some early kills here, which is definitely not how the game's going. Mordekaiser fighting Ope with his ultimate here. Ope. Oh yes, and this Trine is preparing Shen for when the Mordekaiser ultimate goes down to immediately jump on the Shen. This uh, Shen's about to have a bad time. Ooh, okay, the Alistair kind of missed the combo there, but, oh, but Shen missed his... the dash over the wall. Yep. So that means Shen will probably die here, yep. That is another kill for Mordekaiser. Mm -hmm. On a tear. Mordekaiser's, yeah, Mordekaiser's going to be fun to deal with in the late game. Uh, Dragon is up, but unlike last game, we're not seeing anybody go for it really early. And then in the bottom lane, we just cut to a person doing one auto attack. Oh, oh, As looks the mid like lane gets Shen cut out. Goes down, and Shen does not teleport in either. They trade one for one there. And Shen ult as well, which is a big deal, because now Shen's not going to be able to be there for Dragon. Yes, Although, oh. Two, two for one, nearly. Oh yes, two for one, actually. However, that kill does go to Seraphine, so... Both of those kills did go to the support. Not where you want them to be going if you're a fan of ONU, but... You know. Better than nothing. Yeah, better than not having them at all. And then 160 gold to Caitlyn as she takes a tower plate on her own. We were so helpful like, correct. Yep, Owen is going to be going for the Rift Herald here. Although Mordekaiser can be coming in to contest and see if he'll do anything about it. He, sh he might be able to do something, but we'll see. Does he, he have might get pinched up? by Shen, yeah. He does not have ultimate up. He cannot really contest that. Although they are in the bottom lane. It looks like they're diving the misfortune, except Alistair caught well. out ends up dying for it. Unfortunately. But Poppy is soloing the dragon. Uh, hopefully manages to get that in time for Trine. He does not have Smite up notably, so they would be able to walk in and take it. So I've got to be careful of that. Oh, looks like she just had to give up. Does not have yep. the damage for it. Too low and not Snow Smite. Yeah. Looks like they've gathered a force for the dragon. Maybe they'll be able to take it this time. Yeah. Although this time Annie is coming down. They still... Oh, and you still does not have vision, but just the simple fact that Annie is nearby might make it a little more dangerous to do. By the time dragon does come up, it does seem that... Oh, looks like something's going down here. Yeah, that Seraphine is... Seraphine old, but misses. Although Tibbers is here. That is Annie ult, Seraphine ult. Any flash even. Uh, that's a lot to commit to a fight where nothing happens. Yeah. Uh, they it's might just... be able to get Dragon off of this if they started immediately, but Trine still has vision on it, and honestly, Alistair's not even that low, has ultimate up, could probably contest it on his own for a little while, or at least distract them. Uh, Poppy almost got caught out there. Caitlyn actually did get caught out, but managed to use her other summoner spell to escape. And uh, now it looks like Wukong on a tear, killing two people immediately in Trine's backline in exchange for nothing. I guess that was that uh, the setup that fight did. Yes, Getting a no two more kills for O and U. That is four mm. for nothing, and they will most likely be able to take Dragon here. This is not good for Trine. This probably erases any of the lead that they built early on. Although Mordekaiser still his, has his aggression in the top lane there. There's pressure. Especially in this meta, top lane doesn't mean so much. 
<laughs> yeah, and it does look like ONU is going to be going on that dragon there for that 4 for nothing there. Uh, and we're seeing Mordekaiser jump onto Shen up here, but uh, he manages to run in under tower in time. Doesn't actually turn into a kill. Like Shen will be backing here. Or uh, it looks like Shen's just going to Maybe stay not. around in the top lane until one of his teammates comes up to catch the wave because he doesn't want Mordekaiser to get more free tower damage. Mordekaiser is leaving now after seeing that Annie is coming. And then, of course, Annie just leaving. Mordekaiser going back to the wave. Just doing a little shuffle there, back and forth. Mordekaiser shuffle. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. Caitlyn very nearly died there. I know it doesn't look that bad. She didn't even take any damage, but uh, Seraphine was a little quicker on the draw. It have been a lot worse, yeah. Definitely would have immediately exploded. Or at the very least had to flash. Nope, does not have flash. Would have immediately exploded. <laughs> it does look like uh, Try and saw the Wukong there. They were looking for a fight and Wukong showed up. Had vision on him. Oh, Seraphine gets a stun off. So, nothing to gain from that. Not just yet. And then Poppy and Wukong trading blows in the jungle. Ending up roughly even. Uh, okay. Well, if we look at it right now, uh, on the whole, ONU is farming better than Trine and has more kills than Trine. And more objectives than Trine. Uh. They're up about a thousand gold, give or take. Of course, that's not such a big lead. We could see it turn around in a second, but it does not bode well considering how last game went in the late game. Hopefully they'll be able to make plays off the Mordekaiser, but we'll see. He is a pretty good team fight champion. If anybody on... Uh, well, it looks like it's going to be the Seraphine. Ends up a little bit too strong for the rest of his team to handle. Mordekaiser can just kind of be like... Say no to anything they might be doing. Take him to Brazil. Yup. Okay. Not much is happening here. Trine is looking... I do notice that um, the Alistar is a little bit under-leveled in comparison to the Seraphine here. That's just because he's, uh, he's been roaming. It's not too big of a deal since Alistar does have his ultimate up, so... And Seraphine does have three kills as well. Mm -hmm. It's not such a she... huge experience advantage, but uh, it definitely compounds mm -hmm. with it. And it does look like uh, Owen used to be setting up for the Rift Tail here. They might be trying to catch out the Mordekaiser beforehand, or just really securing vision in the uh, river to set up for a fight. It does look like most of the team is top except for the ADCs. The Seraphine playing a little bit far up. Uh, if Mordekaiser were to just walk down and press R on her, I'm not sure there's a lot she could do. She does have flash up still, but still, uh, he kind of pushes buttons. Oh, and you is starting the Rift Herald here, so it means Trine's going to have to have contest here soon. If she has a 300 gold bounty. It would uh, be worth it for him to just push the button here. Yeah, Mordekaiser is able to push them off of the Rift Herald here. Uh, looks like they're going to start a fight. Wukong ult up, Seraphine ult. Poppy's uh, able to send them all back to the base, though. Who did Mordekaiser just ult? Uh, I think he got Shen. I'm not sure. Oh wait, did it get cancelled? It's not on cooldown. I heard the it noise. Might have gotten cancelled. Yeah, I heard it too. And it does look like Trine takes the Rift Herald. Or was I? Did I miss it? Yes, Trine did grab it. Uh, it's on the Poppy oh, right. right now. Good, good, good. So that's. Especially being a little bit behind, it's, uh, it's very heartening that they can take that fight and mm -hmm. win it. Puts them about equal now. ONU does have Dragon, uh, but it's only one, so it shouldn't be too big of a deal. Dragon. And the ne yep, Dragon's coming up here soon. Yeah. 
Dragon, of course, is a little bit more important than Rift Herald because it is a permanent buff instead of a one-time, like, tower-smashing thing. But, you know, it's it's something like 2.5% missing health healing, 1.5%. Yeah. So not so serious with just one of them. Okay, we're seeing both teams kind of reset now after that fight. Uh, no one's looking at Dragon just yet. Seraphine looks like she might be getting some vision on it. Yeah, we're seeing O and U set up vision around the objective again. And if this goes like last time, Trine will end up with the Dragon in roughly a minute and a half. Although Mordekaiser will not be there this time. Or he could be if he teleports, but he does not teleport up. And O and U are on it. It doesn't look like Trine has vision of it, so actually they will be getting it. Although uh, unless something Trine... happens now. Yeah, it looks like Shrine's moving down. And Shen will have ultimate here, so they might have to just let it happen. We'll see. Yep, Shen ult coming down. The Wukong ult coming down as well. Seraphine ult. That is a lockdown onto the Caitlyn, and the Alistar kind of caught out. Caitlyn manages to flash out, might just escape here, but uh, Poppy just sort of walking in, almost dying. Uh, again, saved by Flash. And O and U will be able to get this dragon now, uh, after getting two kills on the Trine in exchange for nothing. Well, the, but they did have Mordekaiser get top lane there, the turret, and, uh, and he pushed it up a little bit. Although he was not able to get the second charge off onto with the Rift Herald. I believe they dropped it top, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Well, Mordekaiser is 3-0. And mm -hmm. it looks like at the moment, he's his team's hope for getting back into the game. Uh, he's got to hit people with that big mace until they almost fall over and then end up giving the gold to other people. Uh, and that's really Trine's path back into this, is if they can just sort of feed Caitlyn and uh, Poppy and Victor some free kills tenderized by Mordekaiser himself. Mm -hmm. They are not too far behind. Trine's only a thousand gold down. Not too big of a deal. It does look like Mordekaiser's two items. He's got an item up on Shen. Yes, yeah, so 1,000 gold, still not a big deal, but with every dragon, uh, it, it turns from 2% isn't that big to like 4% isn't that big to 7% isn't that big, and then you get to 10%. That is big. Yeah, it totally gets worse and worse until it's too late. Does look like they're looking for something here. Trine is. Here Seraphine. comes the Poppy. Seraphine nope. stepped up a little bit far, but uh, they don't manage to catch her out. Mm -hmm. Plus Shen waiting in the wings, or Wukong waiting in the wings, and uh, can't really go in on that. Mordekaiser. Does look like... Where's Mordekaiser? Yep. Mordekaiser's mid here. He just has that little extra pressure. If there were to be a team fight here, Trine would most likely win. It looks like it's dead. Four. Instead, they're going to try to kill Shen or catch that wave or something. Mm -hmm. um, but that doesn't mean that the middle lane is a little bit exposed with just Caitlyn and Alistair. We already know from past experience, Misfortune and Seraphine can kill both of them if they want to. Uh, Trine right now just kind of has to hope that they don't know Poppy left. And so don't really try to go for something. Right. Just poke, back off. It does look like Wukong is in the jungle here for a sneaky little gank, but see if anything goes down after this. Nash Baron is coming up in 10 seconds. Yeah. Mordekaiser going back to split pushing. Mm-hmm. Uh... Not such a bad choice in most situations, but Shen can kind of match him and also teleport when necessary. Uh, so maybe split pushing is not the best option here. If I were Mordekaiser, I'd be looking to get picks on specifically Seraphine or Misfortune, neither of which, neither of whom have a way to get out of his ultimate just yet. So I uh, just ult them away from their towers, and it should be either a free kill or, at the very least, a flash and summon a spell for free. Oh. 
does look like the Annie has a couple stacks on our Dark Seal. That could be a problem. If they can shut the Annie down, then wouldn't be a, won't be a big problem. For, or won't be a problem for long. Yeah. Dark Seal, of course, being bonus damage on abilities for each time you kill someone without dying, stacking a certain amount. Uh, There's the Mordekaiser ult going down. Mordekaiser ult got refunded there again on the uh, Misfortune. I wonder why that happened. And now Seraphine and did completely separated Seraphine. from the team. Yep. And being hunted yes. down by the Mordekaiser. And that is a kill. Well, Mordekaiser. Should be, could be a second one here, yeah. He's going for it. Yeah. Uh, Oof, that ends is up getting shut down though. a little bit too far away from this team. Mm -hmm. And now Tryon having to flash out. Uh, they can't really continue the fight from here without their uh, big player. Although mm -hmm. they did manage to trade one for one with one of Owen Yu's most fed players. It's not so bad. And now it is that bad. It is a one for three. Yeah. For four. One for four, yeah. And now they'll really take Baron bad. if they want it. That is not what you want to see. Very bad. Yeah, it's unfortunate for trying. Now seven kills down, roughly 3,000 gold down. Uh, a tower down, two dragons down. Trying are definitively behind at this point. Let's see if they can get back into this. They could turn it around. Yes, it's still the chance. Dragon does seem to be coming up here somewhat soon, within the next minute or so. Let's see. This time, maybe the Mordekaiser ult has to come down on the Misfortune instead. Although, she might be harder to catch than the Seraphine was. The Misfortune is ahead by a lot in the bottom lane, unfortunately. I will say, the amount of his ultimates getting refunded seems strange. Normally I don't even see that once per game. It's already happened twice that I know of. Yeah. Uh, that, that happens if somebody leaves the cast ranger vision at the same time as you cast it on them, which I think is basically only Flash because nobody else on... Or none of the characters chosen have the ability to do that on their own. So very unfortunate, unlucky stuff for trying. I just did notice this. The poppy has electrocuted. Is that normal for the poppy, or is that a misclick? I think that's normal if you're trying to go a more aggressive build instead of full tank, which I think they are as uh, they have divine thunder. Yeah. So uh, you probably go E, right click, Q. Oh, that's true, that's true. That is a solid amount of damage without having to invest in damage at all. Mm -hmm. uh, so that could be the strategy there. Right now, Poppy and Mordecai are both in the top lane, sort of monopolizing Shen's time and ONU's jungle. Uh, ONU, of course, trying to push the mid lane in response. Although being forced away by the Alistair and company. Although they have four people there, whereas Trine... Well, Trine has four people there now as well. This uh, looks like ONU is looking towards the Sparren now. They might they be trying might... to cut off the Mordekaiser. Oh, yep, Mordekaiser he's teleporting. Mordekaiser thinks they are. So oh, tries to teleport he gets... out, doesn't work. Teleport gets cancelled. Ends up spending the ultimate on the Shen. I don't think that's the right idea. And the Annie is prepared like... to follow up on it as soon as it ends. It does look like Mordekaiser gets caught out here. Now the Misfortune's here too. Yes, that is a free kill for all in you leading up to a Baron that they're already on. It looks like Trine are just completely giving up the Baron and trying to take the towers instead. It's going to work. They're going to get at least one, maybe two. Probably two. It's the only person yeah. who's responding to it right now is the Shen. He's not exactly doing the best in this game. Well, all in you definitely does get the Baron here. And it looks like... Trying is moving down towards the bottom lane, maybe to get another turret. I'm not sure. Or at the very least, raid the jungle. Mm -hmm. Did they get? Uh, did they get Wukong's red buff? I didn't see. I don't think so. Yeah, he has it. Oh darn! And it does look like they're gonna push in and get another turret here. Although, see if they can actually get it or not, because they have Annie coming down. And this but... one does have an objective bounty active. That's gonna be some bonus gold. Help them get back into it, although they are trading their own top lane tower for this. Might be worth it if they go for a second one. Only Shen is coming to respond, but then again, they have to go defend their own towers in the mid and top lanes here soon. This does set it up for 
uh, try and have like pry out for the dragon because now that they have two tur two lanes that'll be pushed in a little bit further. If they want to go for dragons, they'll have a little bit more easier pry out. They don't have to push lanes as hard. Yeah. Pryo, of course, being short for priority, as in their minions will be killing the other team's minions and pushing in on their own. What well, we saw there in the middle lane, mm -hmm. uh, Mordekaiser is kind of falling off here, huh? Yeah. Fortunately for him, he does have another another item. He did just kind of get chunked out by the uh, misfortune, even as Annie missed her own stun. Mm -hmm. It does look like Drake will be coming up here in a minute and thirty. Um, I was going to say something, but I forgot what it was. <laughs> Shen, it looks like almost getting, getting caught, caught out. out here, yeah. Or not. Manages to build a Yep, they don't want to invest in that. Drake coming up in a minute. They either get this Drake themselves, or I think it starts them uh, losing quickly as compared to slowly. This will be Owen use for Dragon. Earth Dragon Soul is a permanent massive shield on each of their team members, which I don't think Trine has the damage to uh, break through at the moment. Alright, looks like they're pushing the bottom lane, and uh, mm -hmm. almost they're managed to catch Poppy out with mm -hmm. the Seraphine ult, but managed to flash out just in time, but they are going to get a tower. And then uh, off this tower, they should be able to walk into the dragon next. Dragon coming up in 20 seconds here. They'll have all five for drag. Oh, look at that. <laughs> As we can see in, in the chat, both teams very aware the dragon's coming. Looks like there's going to be a big team fight here for this drag. Trying posturing around it. I don't know if they can afford to fight this. At least be there for it. If they can catch somebody out, they might be able to do something about it, but we'll see. No, instead! Oh, here comes Wukong. Wukong ult. just going to jump in. Get immediately ulted by the Mordekaiser, although his team cannot really handle the rest of ONU. He can't even manage to solo kill Wukong during the duration of his ultimate. Now it looks like Owen Yu is able to get a double kill here, meaning they should, they can either take the drag or they might just be able to push and end here. I think they're looking to end. Yeah, they're not paying attention to the dragon at all. Absolutely no hesitation running it down the middle lane here. The Baron buff is gone, but that's not slowing them down any. Look at how much damage they're doing to these towers. Yeah, they're just, they have, their ADC is so far ahead, they can just melt this stuff before trying to be able to come back up and fight that. But it looks like they're backing off now. Maybe they were just going to take inhibitor Inhib and immediately run the dragon. Mm -hmm. What's wild here, Caitlyn and Misfortune have the same amount of last hits. Uh, it's just a seven kill difference that culminated in almost a full item here. Yeah. Trying, trying to contest it again, but they can't. They end up getting their team members caught out. That's one kill for ONU. Second kill for ONU, a third kill for ONU. Not looking good for Trine. It looks like that's gonna be an ace. Yep. Trine knew that if ONU got that dragon, the game was over for them and uh they, oh, they, ONU got the dragon. They tried to bet everything on it, didn't end up working out. Unfortunately, yeah it does look like ONU is gonna be able to end the game here. Yes. It looks like their mid laner has decided to push the bottom lane instead of trying to end the game. Uh, yep. She figured it out. Yep, and that is GG's. Yes, that Owen is 2 0 for Owen Yu against Ryan. Yep. Unfortunate performance. Yep. Hopefully, Trine is able to learn off that and grow better, though. So, we'll see. Yes. Hopefully. Well, uh, some last housekeeping. Mm -hmm. um, 
as always, our normal expected broadcast for the Trine Games is Saturday at 3 p.m. This one was delayed. Also, uh, is it next week that they aren't playing, or is it a different week? Not sure. I'll have to look into that. Um, either way, however you found out about this stream, probably find out again through the same source. Uh, and hopefully, try and uh, wins next time. Yep. Uh, don't want to really be uh, losing your first two games of the semester, but I'm sure they'll be able to bounce back. Have a good attitude and uh, yep, positive plenty spirit. Of plenty yep. of practice. Well, hey. I think that's all from us. Mm -hmm. Unless you have anything you want to add. I think Trine played pretty well, although they just got caught out in positioning. So if they were able to work on positioning, I think they'll be able to do well. All right. Well, uh, have a great rest of your uh, rest of your week. Normally, I say rest of your weekend, but that's not really a thing right now, is it? Yeah, it's Monday. <sighs> and uh, hopefully, Trine fans, something a little better to look forward.